Baker boys were fabulous Sunday in Florida scored 16 runs but Atlanta Shane Reynolds is 10 and 1 in his last 12 starts against the Cubs. Sammy doesn't care three run first inning shot 22 on the season 519 career Willie McCovey and Ted Williams are tied for 12th all time at 521 Braves a race four nothing deficit now lead five four in the fifth I know you know that ball is Gonzo Alex Gonzalez is 14th two run job Cubs retake the lead they won't give it back top six Moises Alou feeling it went four for six with five RBI two on this double Tom Goodwin matched a career high with five hits Cubs with 21 hits in the 15-6 romp. Astros winners of 10 of 11 heading into Pittsburgh. Bottom one, Jason Kendall. A base hit in 22 straight games. Now it's 23, longest active streak in the major leagues. Kendall hitting 393 during his hit streak. Bottom three, now watch this. Matt Stairs, ladies and gentlemen, with apologies to Brent Boone. Say hello to a little friend. Had to do it. 461 feet is 11. Pirates lead 5-1, but the ball goes in the river there and into the Allegheny. It would find its way back into the ballpark. Top six, Jeff Bagwell. Homer twice Sunday, including number 400. Homer's here is 21st. Astros within three, it's 5-2. Next up, Jeff Kent. Back-to-back -back Jacks. He also homered the previous day, is 13th. Astros trail 5-3 now. Top nine, Brad Ausmus. This will go into right. And Ausmus, you know, not exactly fleet of foot. Hustling into first. Beats the throw. Pirates a 5-3 win, snapping Houston's five-game winning streak. Toronto at New York. Yankees have won their last six homers. Jason Giambi with five homers in his last seven games and 14 ribs for the Blue Jays. They make defensive moves for Giambi. Derek Jeter on the move. Beats Tom Wilson's throw to second. Third baseman covering, so Jeter thinks about taking third. Then he had a flashback to opening day. As we remember what happened then, Jeter stealing second, Giambi at the plate, and then deciding to go to third. Jays catcher Ken Huckabee was covering third. Jeter was safe, but his shoulder was out. So was he. Back to reality, and the reality is that Jeff Weaver would get chased in the fifth. Vernon Wells setting a career high with his 24th homer, added another later. Weaver gives up five runs in four and a third. Mark Hendrickson called up from the minors Monday, wins an 8-0 range-shortened game. Red Sox swept the Tigers in four at Fenway last month and glad to see Detroit back in Boston Monday because the Red Sox are first in all these categories and the Tigers, well, they're last. Bottom three, first in the hearts of all Boston fans, most of the time, Manny Ramirez. Takes Jeremy Bonderman deep into the monster seats. is 23rd. Manny, four for four, three RBIs. Six nothing. Bottom three, watch this. No my gassy apara. Into the stick. Watch this fan. Dude, I fell down wicked hard. <laughs> I hit my freaking elbow. This guy, I can't believe it. Guy didn't even get the ball. Same at bat for Noma. The Noma of Noma. Doubles off Steve Sparks. Todd Walker scores. Red Sox win 14-5. They get 18 hits and bat around twice. Oh, they love those Tigers. Mets swept in four straight in Atlanta Monday. They opened a two-game visit to the Vet. Bottom four, 5-2 New York. Two on two out. Marlon Bird. Into center. Jeff Duncan backhanded. Sticks the landing. Well, hold on. Is that a catch? Let's look again. Does the ball bounce off the turf and into Duncan's gloves? This is a trap. You know, in the dugout, Duncan himself admits, you know what, dude, that bounced. Bottom five, six, two Mets, Jim Tomey. Try to keep it. Oh. Off Aaron Heilman, a two-run shot is 25th. And the Mets go up 6-4, but Heilman pitched well, earned his first major league victory, closed by John Franco, who got his first save since 2000. Bottom nine, two-run lead, two on, two out, gets Jason Michaels to end the game first save since June 19th of 2001 and the Mets win in Philly 8-6. Beckett you know he changed his number from 61 to 21 why do you do that well could it be to honor fellow Texan Roger Clemens who wears number 21 or used to anyway he came off the DL 21 days ago and he pitched on July 21st Erie what was the deal well Beckett says you know I just wanted to change things up a little bit there really is no reason all right Vladimir Guerrero back after missing 39 games with a herniated disc facing Beckett in the first. Oh, Vlad the Impaler strikes out, but he was two for four. Look at Beckett's numbers. Seven innings, seven hits, struck out seven. Uh, that adds up to 21, his new number. Oh, Mike Lowell back after missing the Cubs series with a cancer scare. Bottom one is first at bat back. Base hit to center, it scores a run. Lowell two for three. He said, I felt like I was back in the normal world. It's good to have him. Marlins win 4-1.
ago, 29 and 4 versus the Padres since 99. That is the best winning percentage of one team versus another team over that span. And you know what? Bruce Bochy knows all about it. It's been ugly against the Redbirds for the Padres skipper. There he is. First inning, Mark Kotze facing Matt Morris, second batter of the game. Please. It hits Morris's pitching hand. Scott Rowland barehands it for the out, but Morris takes one warm up throw. Oh boy. That would be it. He had x rays. They were negative. Bottom one, Jason Simon Tachi facing Sean Burroughs. To center field, Jim Edmonds to end the inning. Bottom six, 3 3 ball game. Xavier Nady to second. Watch Bo Hart. I should be on like Dallas with a name like Bo Hart. That's a good soap opera name. Dude, I got half a baseball stuck in my head. <laughs> can, you, can you take it out? 4 4 in the 10th, Lance Painter facing Miguel Ojeda. Deep left and gone, his third of the year. Walk off. The Padres break their Cardinal jinx. They win in style. 5 4. 1 2 in the NLS. San Francisco host in Arizona. QA right off the top. Which player has the most homers in San Francisco Giants history? Bonds, Mays, McCovey. You please ponder. Bottom two, Bonds. Against Arizona's Elmer Descends. Caught looking at strike three. Descends 0 2 lifetime against the Giants. Bottom six. Giants trail four. Three bases loaded. Two outs. Yorbit. Tori Alba. Chopper to left. Bonds scores. Aurelia scores. And the Giants take a 5 4 lead. We answer the question. If you said McCovey, you are correct. 469 Bonds with 468 Bonds in the seventh. Do we have a tie on the leaderboard? No, Steve Finley deep. The Giants do get the win. 5-4. In a little bit of a jam. Runner on third. Larry Walker with two outs. Cesar is tourist. The throw pulls Paul LaDuca off the bag. And Ron Belliard scores. It's 2-0 Rockies. Watch again. LaDuca plays a whole bunch of positions. Usually pretty well, but just a little wide with the throw. Top two. Ashby to Chris Steins. Alex Core, Nice diving stop when he throws him out. Core helping Ashby out. Bottom four. Danny Stark facing Sean Green. Sean Green's got to start heating up sooner or later. His 11th, the solo shot, 2-1. Top five now, it's 3-1 Colorado. Preston Wilson, bases loaded, and the 5-4-3. Ashby is out of the jam. Bottom seven, it's 4-1 Rockies now. Jeremy Burnett went yard twice Sunday. Deep to center, Wilson is at the wall. And he's going to get there. Rockies win 4-1. L.A. has lost three straight following a three-game winning streak. Hayes in Kansas City, Major League debut of 21-year-old Oakland starter Rich Harden. Let's meet Rich Harden. You know, he's, he's from Victoria, British Columbia. Was drafted by the Mariners in 99. Pitched three perfect for A Midland to start the year. And here he is, making his big league debut. Bottom two, look at the speed on this. Rings up Ken Harvey, 97. And then strikes out Michael Tucker, slowing it down a little. 86. Bottom five rings up Brent Main and Carlos Febles. Ken Makase, Harden tips his pitches a little bit. Got to work on that, but looks good here. Sixth inning, Harden in a jam. Two Royals on, nobody out, facing Carlos Beltran. And Harden gets the ground ball he needed. This is a big moment for him and for Mom. Oh, she's in the stands. Hold your breath. After a game-tying sack fly by Raul Abanez, Harden picks Beltran off to end the inning. Harden allowed one run on four hits in seven, struck out four, and no decision looked really good. 1-1 one, one in the ninth. Jason Grimsley walks Ramon Hernandez with the bases full. Boy. Hayes get five of the ninth. They win 6-1 to snap a four-game losing streak. Ken Maka said Harden was terrific. Harold Reynolds, you're Five against the M's this season, but now they have Shannon Stewart, and he's swinging a bat made from the wood of a tree felled by lightning. Five straight at-bats hits for Shannon Stewart, the former J. One hit Saturday and four hits on Sunday. Let's go back to Monday. Bottom one, Stewart's 0 for 8 career against Joel Pinheiro, but he doubles down the left field line. Six straight hit. He'd later score, and the Twins lead 1-0. Bottom two, 2-0. Two twins, Stewart, RBI single to left, seventh straight hit. Now 7 for 14 with the Twins since coming over from Toronto last week. Bottom four, 4-0. Four twins, Stewart again, trying to roll an eight. Wraps out, lines out, short. Streak ends at seven in a row. Bottom eight, tied at four. Chris Gomez facing Arthur Rhodes, who gave up Carlos Beltran's winner in Kansas City Sunday. Twins win. 
fan, Milwaukee at Cincinnati Reds have lost seven straight homers, given the ball to Juan Acevedo for his first start of the season. Top seven, Acevedo induces the Eddie Perez, 5-4-3 double play. Acevedo pitched seven shutout, gave up just two hits. Bottom seven, Russell Brannion pinch hitting for Juan, and that ball with the bases loaded is gone. Brandon, grand slam on Brooke Kieschnick's first pitch, third career granny for Brandon. Jose Guillen also homered in the seventh. Reds end their seven-game home losing streak with the 11-2 win.